Howdy folks, Creepy Kentucky in here with you again from deadpit.com and I got another one of these dealios for you guys. Wanted to kind of do a, a quick little unboxing video for you guys to check out. A lot of people are digging the vinyl stuff. We did the history of waxwork records year one a few weeks ago and this is another waxwork record. I'm doing this in front of uh, a partner today, my buddy Roxy, who loves aggravating the fuck out of me. Waxwork Records, the Fang Club, over on Facebook, they had a fun little contest type deal where they hid 25% off coupon somewhere throughout the site. I've always been really, really, really good at finding stuff like that and uh, looking at all the clues that were out there. So I got that um, code and I used it for this edition. And there's actually another one on the way. Um, I think it comes out later on this month. No, it's not out yet. So Catalina Cataldi box cutter here. Yeah. If you pay attention to the shows, you know why it's called that. And we're gonna see what we've got from Waxwork records.com of releases that I've had my eye on for a while, that they've been working on for a while. Big shout out to Rachel, who does a lot of packaging work. I see her name all the time over on the Fang Gang Club. This one here, man, the artwork on this is amazing. We talked about this movie in detail not too long ago. On, of course, 180 gram color vinyl. Everyone loves that. We're talking about the sequel to an all-time classic film. Uh, and a lot of people consider this a classic film as well. This is The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Two LP set. Look at that artwork there, man. Some amazing artwork. Robert Samelin. Samelin did that. Very, very cool. Waxwork Records always does just an outstanding job on the packaging and the display of it all and what all, you know, what all you get in a package. Let's open it up here. I'm not one to keep these sealed. It's actually bad for the record to keep it sealed. So we're gonna take a look at the, the colored vinyl on this and uh, see how glorious this thing looks. All right, so it's always really easy if you wanna take the best care of your vinyl to slip the cellophane, cellophane baby right off. And this is a gatefold edition as well. That's um, that's pretty much on par with all of the other ones. And, uh, yeah, this is great right here. The gatefold artwork there. Leather face is getting that bitch. Two LP collection. And this one comes with, this is an insert as well. There. along with some information about the movie and the music and all that good stuff. The color of this one is, I can't remember what they call it, but it's kind of like a gray with hints of red in there. More of the same with the second one. You've got Chop Top. And then on this one, it is the logo in mainly red with the yellow font. So another gorgeous edition from Waxwork Records. And another reason that I wanted to pick this one up as well, the score on this one was Jerry Lambert, but there's also from back in the day, and I still have this, and this one has not gotten a re-release or anything. So this is the soundtrack, the picture score, um, but released back in 1986, they did a music from the motion picture LP with some of that classic artwork on there. 
And this is the one that has the music from actual bands uh, that were featured in the movie. Some punk bands, Lords of the New Church, the Cramps, Oingo Boingo, if you will. Um, and this one has not received any sort of a re-release. I had this one, so I had to get this one. I had to get them both. So I'm very happy about that. Um, I think this one right here is pretty hard to come by. It's not in the best condition. It's got some seam split stuff going on here. Um, the hop sticker itself is still on the, I don't know if it came like that or what. It's on the actual record. Um, but yeah, you can still get this. There's only a few of these left. Go over to waxworkrecords.com. Also, feel free to check out the Fan Club. A big thanks to you guys for watching and checking the videos and all everything else. Let me know in the comments which Waxwork Records releases are your favorite. I must say of this year, as far as the overall packaging and everything goes, this one is, is top of the line. It's my favorite right now. Keep it creepy, guys, and thanks for watching. Stay tuned to deadpit.com. Give us the thumbs up. Off you butts. Like, subscribe, and if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a if you do it. I don't want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't care. Let's keep our community growing here on no, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And <laughs> click that bell. Before this video officially ends, Oak Curly Jaws has a message for you. Go on over to shop.deadpit.com and go look at their team in public store right now. We've got some new shirts like the Oak Early Jaws official t-shirt, which is brutal and badass. You got the Gummy Gummy shirt with the captain himself on the shirt. The people, you got Uncle Bill's face on a fucking shirt. You got the Final Girl shirt. You got all these shirts over at chop.deadpit.com. Get them before they're all out, especially the new one, Bedtime 1039. It doesn't get better than that, so go on out. Check out these shirts at shop.deadpit.com. Go look at their team public store. You're going to have a good old time. Get them all. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Deadpit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries exclusive podcasts and much more dead pit on patreon.com if you're interested tears started only one dollar